Okay, let's get cranked up here at the Mid America Truck Show. Um, got another guest coming to you. We have, uh, man, we have been having some great guests uh, to sit down with us and, and do this Oakley podcast. It's just been fantastic. Uh, you know, you just never know. It's it's uh, something that uh, really gets me excited being at this show and, and finding things that help owner operators in general, telling good stories about things that happen. I mean. Uh, for truck drivers and independent contractors especially. Aero Truck Sales has been in business for over 60 years and a longtime partner of Oakley Trucking and the Oakley Podcast. Trey Visor and Keith Wilson do a great job at putting you in the right truck to fit your needs and our needs here at Oakley. They carry all makes and models to choose from with on-site financing through transport funding. So whether you are a seasoned owner-operator or a first-time buyer, be sure to contact Keith Wilson at Arrow Truck Sales at 573-216-6047 and tell him you heard it on the Oakley Podcast. That's what we have here today. So I have another guest, and her name is Shannon Courier, and she is with the St. Christopher Fund. And she's an old pro at this, so <laughs> she's done these interviews before telling about the St. Christopher's Fund. Now, I know it's been around a long time. I was actually talking to her a while ago before we started that I remember it, you know, back when I was advertising with Dave Nemo on the Dave Nemo show, I remember talking about the St. Christopher Fund. And I I never did get into exactly what it is, but that's been years ago. So it's been around a while, hasn't it, Shannon? It has. We're actually celebrating 15 years this year, so it's pretty exciting. That is ex- exciting. Now, what's it got to – we were talking about Dave Nemo, so he's got – he part of it? or Oh, just, just a tiny part. He's a tiny part of our organization. <laughs> uh, Dave Nemo and, of course, his business partner, Michael Burns at yes. Radio Nemo, Normal. along with Dr. John McGilligot, who everybody, if you listen to – XM Radio and you listen to Nemo, you're going to hear Dr. John on there a lot. The three of them are the founders of our organization, so they played a little part in what we're doing. That is a part right there. They probably helped get it off and running. They did. So, you know, Dave's been on the on the radio for 50 years. He's been talking to drivers a long time, and John's been working with drivers. He is a uh, works with trucking companies. He's their medical director, so he has talked to drivers and he gets on the radio and answers questions that people may have about, you know, health issues and where they should go, what they should do, that kind of thing. And they realized that a lot of these drivers were losing everything they had because of a short term injury or illness. They were losing their homes. They were losing their trucks and they had nothing to go back to. And they decided, you know what, we need to put together a nonprofit that can be a safety net for these drivers. And so they got together and talked about, you know, how do we make it happen? What do we call it? Um, And we have the St. Christopher Fund as our name. We get asked a lot if we are a religious organization. Uh, We are not. We are uh, not religiously affiliated. You don't have to have the name come from. Well, they are Catholic. Okay. So the and it's always been known for years and years. The patron saint of travel is St. Christopher. So that's where the name came from. John said it's the trucking industry. They are on the road a lot. The patron saint of travel is known in the you know industry and has been for a long time. And so let's go with the St. Christopher Truckers Relief Fund. And so that's how we got started. And That's a good name. Yeah, it's a great name. It's great perfect. Name. Yeah, yeah. So you guys, um, I mean, are, are, have helped a lot of people over the last 15 years, I'm sure, uh, a lot of truck drivers. Um, and I'm assuming this is just limited to truck drivers that yes. you help. Yes, it is. So you have to be, for our organization, we're very focused. And from day one, they had their mission very focused. So we help Class A CDL holders over the road or regional truck drivers, not local drivers. The And the reason they did that is because the, the over the road drivers were the ones that were not able to get home on a regular basis. There was no health care on the road. And they would put off taking care of themselves because they couldn't get home. And so that has been the mission from day one, over the road and regional drivers, because they face different obstacles than the local drivers do. Sure. And so that's that's what our focus is. It does have to be 
an illness or an injury that took that driver off the road. We have drivers call and say, well, I'm not getting any miles or my truck's broken down. Um, all ter terrible situations. We wish we could help in every situation, but we can't. So there has to be an injury or an illness within the last year that took that driver off the road causing financial difficulty. Um, and a lot of the drivers have insurance and but even if you have insurance to cover the medical issue, if you don't have income, you can't pay your household expenses. So we don't pay medical bills. A lot of people think we do because it's injury or illness related, but we don't pay medical bills. Honestly, we'd be out of business if we did that a long time ago because medical bills are so high. Right. So what we're really trying to do is make sure people have a home. We're going to make sure that you have a a vehicle or a truck to go back to work in. We want to make sure you're not sitting there with no utilities on in your home. We want to make sure insurance stays in force. So those are the four areas that we give assistance in. And we don't give any money directly to the driver. We pay those bill holders directly. Again, we do well, that for I, two reasons. Yeah, you know. of course, one, the obvious. Yes, one, the obvious. We want it to go for what we say it's going for. Sure. Um, but two, by the time drivers come to us, they're sometimes in crisis situations. And it, when you have people coming at you, all different bill holders, you're like, what do I pay? What do I not pay? They're already under enough stress. Send us the bills. Here's what we can pay. Tell us how much you want paid. You know, you've been approved for X amount of dollars. Do you want it paid to your mortgage? Do you want it paid to your utilities? Do you want us to split it up? We'll take care of it. You worry about getting better. Who's screaming the loudest? Well, and a lot of times that's medical people. That's why some of these drivers were losing their homes and trucks because the medical bills were screaming the loudest. But we have to tell people, please don't lose your home over a medical bill. I promise you, you can pay them $10 a month. Right. Yes, they're going to hound you, but they're not going to come take your home. Please don't lose your home right. over a medical bill. Yeah, and you would think, I mean, most people would make that right decision, but I guess sometimes not. And and you have to help them in that. Is it hard to qualify for those funds? Well, we have an online application. Uh, now we can mail it or fax it if need be also. It's pretty intensive. We get audited every year to make sure we are following the rules that have been set. So we have to show, we gotta have a copy of your CDL. We have to show that you're an over the road or regional driver. We have to show your income and outgo to make sure there is documented financial need. And then uh, we request medical records because we also have to document it was a medical issue. And Dr. John is actually our volunteer medical director. He looks at all of the files and signs off and says, this is what this driver's looking at. They're probably going to be off six weeks or maybe a driver's had a stroke. They might have to be out a year. Yeah. Now, our assistance is short term. It's just for a month or two. But it also we have hundreds of other resources so if we know that driver's got to be off a year, we're going to say, here's how we can help. And here's where you need to go next for some additional assistance. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's, it's, um, it's, you're taking care of the short term, but you're giving them direction and how to do something a lot longer. Cause there's, there's a lot of them nowadays, Shannon, that are off for a long time, long periods of time. We're seeing that more and more. Of course, as we grow as a trucking company with 850 owner operators now, you, you're, I mean, it's a constant, there's a, percentage of people that are off because of health reasons right and down and you know and and they don't have any income coming in and it's right. uh you know thank goodness a lot of them can handle it but a lot of them can't it takes a toll on them and i don't know that they you know that they know a whole lot about the saint christopher fund that that's an option for them to right. be able to fill out the application at least see what they qualify for yeah you know as long as you meet the, those general first qualifications mm -hmm. You goes to step two. It's good. It asks those initial questions when you go in to do the application. And as long as all those answers are, yes, I'm a CDO holder. Yes, I'm an over there driver. Yes, it's because of medical issue. Takes you on to the application. We'll talk to you, talk through your situation, figure out what's going on and see if we can help. And hopefully, if for some reason we can't help, hopefully we have another resource that we can send you to. So we're, we're always trying to add additional resources to our information also we don't want to just say sorry we can't help you and we don't know what to tell you we want to say here's where you can go next and that's why things like this are so important because drivers can't reach out to us for help if they don't know we're here right 
Lube Zone has opened a new location in Statesville, North Carolina. It's located north of Statesville on Highway 77, just west of Exit 59. Lube Zone services both single trucks and truck fleets, so whether you're driving through or you have a trucking company nearby, Lube Zone are the experts to turn to. Lube Zone's specialty is full-service oil changes that take approximately 30 to 40 minutes. They also offer tractor-trailer grease, gearbox service, generator service, reefer service, and DOT inspections. They also go the extra mile when it comes to quality control. What does that mean? That means your semi-truck is checked not just once, but twice to ensure all service and parts are good to go. Lube Zone does this so you can rest easy knowing that your truck is in top condition. No other service center knows semi-trucks better than Lube Zone. Check out lubezone.com for all their locations, and when you go in there, tell them you heard it on the Oakley Podcast. Are you seeing any common denominators with maybe common illnesses or problems or, or things that you wish you could tell them? that, hey, be prepared for this, this would make things better? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, you know, when you start seeing hundreds of applications come in a year, we take, we get about 40 a month that come in. You start seeing correlations. There's uh, smoking is a huge, mm. and that may not, the things that we're seeing may not be why the driver's calling us for assistance, but there's these underlying things that have led to why they're calling us. Uh, smoking is one of those. Obesity is one of those. Diabetes is one of those. We also see a lot of cancer. Oh, really? A lot. Yeah. And that's, that's, you know, that's really not preventable in a lot of ways. I don't, I don't some of it, I, I, you know, some, some of, of it, it, I guess is mm-hmm. with preventive measurements, of course. Uh, but man, the, the smoking and obesity and diabetes is stuff that you can, you can control somewhat. I mean, to right. help your, you can help yourself. You can a help lot yourself. On that's some right. Of those ways. And that's that's where our our health and wellness programs came from. Yeah. Honestly, is seeing these applications and what these drivers were facing, and we're like, what can we do to help drivers make healthier decisions? You know, we don't live in the truck. We're not in the truck. We don't know what it's like. We don't know how difficult it is. But there are things that you can do different while you're on the road. And so that's where these programs came from. And they don't always get their preventative care like those of us at home do. We go to our, you know, six yeah. month checkup or once a year checkup. They don't do that. And so another thing that we just launched actually this month, we're doing um, prostate cancer screenings because we say a lot of prostate cancer and drivers. Oh, really? Yeah. That is good. That's yeah. a good benefit. And we'll get into that with uh, Lindsay here in a minute. Yes, yeah, she's got that, all the details all the on details that. All the details on that. First, before we get to her, what about, I mean, how is St. Christopher's Fund funded? I mean, is it all through volunteers or? We are 100% donation based. So individual donations, corporate donations. Um, and that's, that's my job, Director of Philanthropy, as I get to ask people for money all day, yep. every day. Um, but even our health and wellness programs, those are funded by corporate sponsors that want to see healthier drivers. So that's how we are able to offer those programs free of charge to drivers. Mm. So we have great supporters. We have been, I mean, hugely supported by drivers from day one. We have great corporate sponsors. We, we've helped now. We're at, we've given out over $4.4 million now directly to those bill holders for over 3,700 drivers in 15 years. And, you know, I always say we're the facilitator of the funds. Everybody says, oh, you do such great things, but we couldn't do what we do if it weren't for people being generous with their donations. And so we get to facilitate those donations. People trust us with that money because we're transparent about where it goes and what it's used for. They trust us with those funds and they know that it's going back to the drivers that need it. Well, that's, you're very humble because you know, (laughs) that's, you you do more than facilitate. I mean, you make a difference in a lot of people's lives. I know you, you take the money that's given to you and put it in the right places, but there's no telling how many good stories you have. I wish we could share everyone. I I know that, uh, that is something that, you know, I think people need to see and realize, well, what, what is the end result, you know, for mm-hmm. St. Christopher's Fund? If, if I'm a, if I benefit from it, what was my story? Do you have any of those stories on your website or anything? Yeah, we do. So we have those on our website. That is at truckersfund.org. And then we share those on social media. So we'd love for people to connect with us, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, we're at all the places. 
Uh, we're, we're trying to get better on TikTok. We're not you know, quite there yet, <laughs> um, but we do. And not every driver wants to share their story. Sure. Um, sure, they're most embarrassed. I mean, there's a lot of them. It is. It's, it's just hard to be in the situation to call and ask for somebody for help. Sure. It's difficult. It's always easy to give. It's do not easy to, to just, receive. Do you just have to make them take it sometimes? Um, we have people that'll say, oh, I, I told my friend to call you. And have they called yet? Well, I can't really answer that question because it's confidential when okay. people apply for us. But they'll say, I don't think he's called. Will you call him? And I have reached out to people and said, hey, I've, you know, so-and-so told me what was going on. You should fill out an application. So, you know, I'm not above that. I, we want to help the drivers that need help. But sometimes it's, it's hard to ask for help and you know, we understand that, but that's what we're here for. So let us, let us do what we're here for. Let us make things hopefully a little easier for you in times of crisis. Yes. Yes. Well, I think you make a difference in a lot of people's lives. A lot Thank of truck you. drivers. I appreciate it too. Thank you. Let's touch base with Lindsay. Oakley Trucking is a 100% owner-operator company. We specialize in hopper bottom, end dump, and pneumatic trailers. We provide the trailer free of charge and you provide the truck. We have a large customer base that reaches the whole United States as well as parts of Canada. Our owner operators live anywhere from Texas to North Carolina to Pennsylvania to Wisconsin and everywhere in between and we get them home weekends. We take it seriously when you join Oakley Trucking because we need you to be successful. Oakley offers great benefits and competitive mileage pay so you know that when your wheels are turning, you're generating money no matter if you're loaded or empty. We understand that you want to make a good living and that you make our living. We only take on independent contractors, and to be honest with you, we are very particular on who we lease on. You must have a good driving record, good work history, and clean, dependable truck. So if you're interested in Oakley Trucking or just want some more information, you can go to oakleytrucking.com, listen to our weekly podcast, The Oakley Podcast, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, so we're um, now we, we swapped seats here mm -hmm. with St. Christopher Fun, and we're going to visit with Miss Lindsay Bryan. Yes. Good, and, and with St. Christopher's Fun, and she's in charge of the health, the health and wellness yes. part of uh, St. Christopher Fun. So tell us what you do there. Yes, yeah, so this is my second week jumping in. Um, second week? Yes, and here we are. Oh, you are <laughs> thrown in the fire yes. at the Mid America Truck Show. Yes, but it has been great. Um, so, so wait, let me ask you before you answer that question. Sure. Is this your first truck show? It is. What do you think? I love it. <laughs> I love it. Um, I have had experience with health and wellness expos in the past. And, um, you know, you just kind of get all, all different people. But I have met some incredible people here, all just working towards the same mission of helping truckers. And so do you do, and this is kind of, I'm setting you up for this answer, but. I mean, because I do it. Do you get here and you see everybody walking around and go, oh, my gosh, these people, we got a lot of people here that need some help. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a bad way, but it's it's known that a lot of truck drivers yes. are not healthy. Yes. And, you, and then you see it all in one place and you're like, man, we, there is a need. Yes. The demands of the job, unfortunately, set them up to not have the healthiest of lifestyles. And, and that's hopefully where I'm going to come in and help to make a difference. Well, tell us about that. What do you exactly do? Sure. Lindsay? So we have a number of different programs that we offer um, to cover all bases, really. Um, one of the main ones is a diabetes prevention program where uh, I have a group that meets on Tuesday nights, and we're hoping to expand that. Um, but we talk about all the different things that go into helping to prevent diabetes, activity, nutrition, lifestyle, sleep. We've talked about that a lot here the last couple of weeks all the pieces that they would need to know to help set them up for success and that's tailored specifically to people who are living on the road mm. so it gives them a way to do it while they're on the road you, mm -hmm. you do you said every tuesday night every tuesday night and how do they how do they be part of that yeah so they can register on the website okay. um there's there's multiple courses so we've got a year-long course that is actually set up by the cdc um, and that is probably our most popular program but we've also got some shorter versions there's one that's called driven to be healthy that's a 12-week program where they can tune in whenever it's convenient for them mm. um and providing some of the same education of nutrition activity and lifestyle changes to live a healthier life yeah because you see it i guess saint christopher fund sees a need for somebody like you now uh, mm -hmm. to to not only help them financially but if you can give them some uh some you know 
preventative, preventative health advice. Health, yes, please. Yes. Prevent them from getting to that point. Yes, that's the goal. Yeah. So those are a couple of programs that we offer, but we've got some others. Um, one is a smoking cessation support system. Um, so I basically am your buddy during that quitting process. And we've got some really great sponsors that provide resources such as nicotine replacement therapies like the patch and the lozenge. Um, Grinds does like the coffee pouches. Mm. Um, so we've got a number of different things to help in that process. And then I'm their check-in person of how's it going? What kind of uh, barriers or challenges are we running into this week? And I help to talk them through. What are we going to do different? I'm for the driving down week? this road and I can't think straight. Yes, Give the traffic. It's the traffic. <laughs> yes. Uh, and and other bad drivers on the road are yeah. some big triggers. So we, we work through that. Um, one of our newest programs that's really cool, it's still in the works, so we're, there's more things coming, but we're doing preventative cancer screenings. Um, so one that's already up and running is actually prostate cancer screenings. And then we'll have a few more coming in the future that'll include cervical cancer screenings uh, and colon cancer screenings. Where do, they, where do these take place? Yeah, so we would hook them up with a call on doc and send them to wherever is convenient for them. And then, you know, we are funding that entirely. So all these programs are completely free to our truck drivers nationwide. Really? Mm -hmm. Any of our awesome. over the road truck drivers. When, when do they need to start that? Um, like at what age or is there certain requirements to start these testing? That's a great question. Um, we do not have any specific requirements. So what's amazing is we have in, in knowing that these tests were needed, uh, we have seen many stories of people who even said, I didn't really have any symptoms. There was no reason to test. It was just, hey, you're about that age, you know, and we usually look at that being middle age, but we've seen some younger cases um, that make us say, okay, it's time to go get checked. There's no harm in just double checking. And uh, the hope is that, of course, it's clear and you can breathe easy, um, but the the next best scenario is we catch it early when it's treatable um, before it becomes right. a, a really major issue. I was, um, we were somehow in Sunday school class, we got to talking about this testing and sick colonoscopy or somebody was sick or something. And I was like, yeah, I don't, you know, I don't have any issues in my family or nothing. And my friend behind me, she said, oh, you're getting it done. You're getting the colonoscopy done. I said, oh, okay. Yes. Uh, you know, I'm 52 years old. So I got it done a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So, man, that was uh, that was easy. It wasn't near what you know people make it out to be. Yeah. So it's gotta, not fun. Certainly, it's not, it's fun, not fun, but it's, but it's not, not terrible, and it's certainly worth the peace of mind. Oh, so worth it to get that done and knowing you know what's going on, and and uh, don't have to come back five for five years. So, Absolutely. You know that's good. So uh, yeah, everybody needs to have those things. Uh, done and checked out any preventive man preventive preventive maintenance i just got through talking preventive maintenance on trucks well yes yeah and, we and have to do preventive maintenance on our bodies yes because yes. they're all these guys are are they are all about preventive maintenance on these mm -hmm. trucks well if they would do that to their bodies life would be so much better exactly of course exactly. i can't do it either but. when i live a, a long life but also a good quality of life and yes. and that takes a little work so what's your background? You say you've been with St. Christopher for, for two weeks now? Two weeks. So two what, weeks, what's yes. your background like? Uh, so my degree is actually in psychology, and I started out in drug and alcohol counseling and social work. Um, and then I transitioned at some point into uh, nutrition counseling, just based on my own health experiences. I've got a couple of autoimmune disorders, and I saw just what a difference it made focusing on the healthy eating getting a good quality sleep, getting in a reasonable amount of activity and, and just what a difference that could make in managing autoimmune disorders. And so it, for the last eight years, I've been doing nutrition counseling and I really love it. It's amazing just how much it can play into taking care of the body, the preventative side of things, but also healing in some cases too. So when we have surgery, our body just has specific nutritional needs to recover from that faster. Yeah. Um, and it's amazing what food can do for us. Yeah. And now you've transitioned into the trucker world. Into the trucker world. Well, it's a great community. It I'm is. here to tell you, you're going to learn a lot from these truck drivers. They're fantastic people. You wouldn't believe how smart they are. They you are. Know, I mean, they're just some they're just some geniuses. I mean, in, in all things of life. And they see so many mm -hmm. things in, in their life. And they, they've educated me a lot over the years yes. I've been in it. 
and I, I really uh, I admire them. I respect them. Absolutely. They've got such big hearts, and they make such huge sacrifices for us. And um, when I was making the change, looking for the next step in my career, I knew I wanted to be with the nonprofit, and I knew I wanted uh, a worthy cause. I think it just, you know, it makes you feel good at the end of the day, but that affects everything else, finding that joy in life. And my joy is helping people. And so I thought, what better cause? These are people that support our day-to-day -day lives, getting food where it needs to go and goods and services. And um, so, yeah. Well, welcome to the trucking world. We're glad to have you. Thank you so much. Anything else you'd like to add, uh, St. Christopher Fun wise? Any of our programs, you can check them out on the website. Uh, and you can register for any of them there, but also there's really thorough information. So if there's anything that we've covered today that anybody has questions about or wants to learn about a little further, um, you can always check it out on the website. But you can also email me, and that's health at truckersfund.org. Okay, we'll be sure and put that up on the, on the screen when we put this out so everybody can have it too. Wonderful. Thank you all for joining me. I appreciate Thank you it, so Lindsay much for and Shannon. Us. Oh, yeah, it's good. Good stuff, good information to help our owner operators and hopefully make them healthy. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.